Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being here, Dr. Nario. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. All right. So as you all know, Dr. Nario is with Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. You can check them out online and see all the different treatments they do and everything that they treat. Uh, it's an integrative clinic. So if you want to know more, you can easily find them online. So we're going to talk about Arnica. Now you said this is an herb. We talked a little bit about it before we turned this on, but Tell us basically what this is first. Well, Steve, it's why I, I came to Arnica. It, it's because of uh, I'm also a homeopath by trade. It's a homeopathic medicine, and it's one of the most famous homeopathic remedies. It's also one of the well, most well known because of bro being brought uh, many, I mean, in terms of converts to our field of medicine. Uh, this is one of the first remedies that we always give for our patients who had a fall, for example, who has bruising, soreness, and or trauma. May it be mild or severe. Uh, it's what we call one of the day, a member of like the daisy family. And Arnica Montana, as we call it, as the name implies, grows in the mountain slopes uh, where it, it's quite handy for hikers, for example, for runners who falls and who injures themselves and gets bruises and strains. And it stops, it has this reputation of stopping capillary bleeding or leaking of bodily fluids due to this trauma. And Arnica also enjoys a well-deserved reputation for converting a lot of people to homeopathic medicine. When they see herbs working like this, wow, conventional docs just gets wowed by this and like, hey, let me check out what's going on with homeopathy. So that's why this is something that, that I've been uh, using for quite a while and helping a lot of patients with. So you said that you use this because I know you work with some athletes. Mm -hmm. uh, UNR is nearby. Um, how do you apply this or how do you use this or when do you use it for athletes? Well, Steve, uh, a good example for you would be um, sports that involves impact like football. Right. But I also have like training, um, training athletes who runs around in the mountains here. And these are what we call um, uh, high impact uh, sports or high impact sports, sports training. And we, we always see them with, yes, falls, bruises, blows, wounds, and injuries. And that's why we call it, right, from the Daisy family. It's like Daisy's ease disease family it's kind of like a, a pun that we play around with as homeopaths but again these guys always comes in with injuries bruises shocks jarring labor um too much labor um, overexertion sprains uh even uh, even old age um even lack 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 of resting uh, thus lowering down healing so that's why athletes carry this around even in their pockets here's one uh situation for the basketball team they add this in their water, and you think it's only made of Gatorade, right, or mixed with Gatorade. But they put drops of Arnica in there after a game so that they can all heal up faster and better. It's not like jacking up, but sure, it's homeopathic anyway. It's healthier. Hmm. So it sounds like and this can use, be used for a lot of things to heal a lot of different things. And you said uh, used with age. How, how do you use that? So meaning the older you get, the more injuries you, you incur, and also the slower your healing is. And, and that's why when you're, have, you're, in, your older, in the older age group, um, you kind of trip, you, you, you kind of fall, right, a lot, uh, even though that's why they're needing assistive devices. And that's why they, they use this a lot. And also, this is a pretty good combination with the peptides that I use, like BPC-157, TB4, um, along with Arnica. And, and this is where really integrative medicine comes into the picture to really optimize the health of our patients, not only for the older people, but also for the younger ones. Right. So you, you can combine this herb with different peptides um, and that helps speed up the healing also. Yes. And the good thing about this, this is non-prescription. You can get this over the counter. Just make sure you get a good reputable source for it. And um, yeah, there's a lot of them out there. Hmm. 
Interesting. So is it used for anything else or anything else that's important for us to know about this? Well, here's, a, here's one thing with the homeopathic use, use of this, this herb. We also consider what we call mental symptoms. So what is the mental symptom of an Arnica patient who needs it? So this, uh, so this is usually Arnica patients are the ones who are very sensitive to touch. So don't touch me. I'm okay. I felt you fell down. I don't need help. I'm okay with, I'm okay. Or um, fear of further injury, right? When you have a sprain, you're always scared of like, man, I don't want to play anymore because I might get another one. Or they also try to hide their injury. Um, they, they're, if, even though they're hurting, because men are men, right? They don't want to show that they're crying, but hurting inside so much. Um, and always you, you, they wouldn't show you what their typical picture would be. And these are things that I always see that the, the ones who are where Arnica works best. And when you see these specific, uh, even hear these specific comments, like, don't touch me, I'm fine. Or no, I'm not going to be in the hospital. I have important things to do. Uh, so you be as, as homeopaths, we hear these conversational lines and we actually know that, hey, this is the treatment that I can use for this specific patient. So are you saying that this can give confidence to someone who has an injury or has been, has a mild injury and doesn't want to make it worse? So is, is that's what you're talking about mentally that can give them some confidence? Right. And you're right. This is what I talk to a lot about with athletes that, that once you get an injury, you have that mental blockage now, right? I won't do that anymore. I'm fine. Uh, I'm just going to do this specific move. Uh, but, but with this mental, um, blockage, your, your athletic performance gets hindered. So when you take Arnica, that mental side of not doing something that you think might hurt you will wither away and actually gives, yeah, you're right, giving more confidence to these athletes. You know, it's funny. I played a lot of sports, mm -hmm. uh, mostly college and, uh, football and baseball. Right. And just to give you an example of that, it seems like, let's say you're playing football. Somebody steps on your foot and it bruises. Mm -hmm. everyone's going to step on your foot in the same spot. <laughs> right. It just seems like once it, once it hits that one spot, it just seems like now everyone's stepping right on that exa exact same spot. And it's, uh, or, you know, you, you turn your ankle and if you turn your ankle, I mean, of course you're going to tape your ankles and all that, but it is easier to turn it again once you've done it once. Right. Cause you know that the mind is playing games on you, right? Or even the, the power of attraction, like, oh, my God, they're going to hit this foot again. And it will <laughs> happen over and over again. So that's why there are so many energies and forces in this world that we don't, we don't know how they work. But it does work, and it happens, like your story. All right. So, Doc, is there anything else you would tell us about this herb? Um, anything maybe that I didn't ask about that's unique about it or um, – something that our audience should hear or you want them to hear? Yeah, well, really, how can people be convinced about something well, in terms of how they want to use our stories, our actual case stories that I have, I have encountered. So let me give some, uh, some examples here. So there was like um, a, a little girl who came in and all of her four wisdom teeth got, got removed. It was like a week ago. Her face was so swollen. It was like a huge, like a chipmunk. And I actually uh, was, he, the, the, the girl was given a diluted a version of Arnica in a dropper. So uh, yeah. it was squirted in a few, few drops in her mouth and also filling up a gauze. So the gauze would stop the bleeding uh, with Arnica and it got uh, in contact with the wound so that pressure could stop the bleeding. Within two to three minutes, uh, actually almost immediately, the, the, the inflammation of the face went flat. So that's one of wow. the striking um, effects of Arnica. Another one, so this one is really st a standout. So there's, there was a, a person who got in, involved in an, a very bad auto accident. He hit, the car hit a telephone pole, shattered it, rolled over three times the car, and hit a building after that and burst into flames. So the guy was transported to the lo local trauma unit, and the wife and the mother showed up at the hospital. And no, no consciousness at all during the accident. They brought uh, the Arnica pills with them and made it into a dropper and mixed it, diluted it with the uh, Everclear alcohol. So what they did, of course, you can't do any medicines in the hospital. 
what they got a cotton ball and they dipped it in an arnica and rub it on the wrists every day of this of this patient and after application he immediately squeezed the mother's hand while she was applying the arnica and the, the guy suffered major head injuries had three plates put a uh, of course put in his head and but the thing here is never were there any brain swelling seen even the hospital records were saying that no further treatment would be necessary for the patient because he can die for from his injuries in 72 hours but despite the grim prognoses the patient survived recovered sufficiently to be returning into active but she's he's actually military he's back in service and completed another tour of duty and fathered another child after the incident so the wonders of arnica right there well wow, that is amazing i of course i guess everyone's different and would respond to this differently you know you never know how it's going to affect you but uh that's arnica everybody it's an herb that the doctor's been telling us about um that it sounds amazing and it's like some people are going to get a, a very positive extreme response right. i mean you just talked about a couple very extreme responses that were positive mm-hmm all right. Well, um, as always, Dr. Nario, thank you for being with us and we will see you next time. Steve, thank you for having me again. As we all know that our knowledge is your power to better health. And thank you for letting me provide you with the edge on longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.